amazing penthouse views make for the perfect vacation home. I'm Sandra Diaz Velasco. I'm an architect and interior designer. Originally from Colombia, my company's name is Iolo Design. We are specializing in high-end residential, hospitality, and commercial projects. Sandra knew she could check off all the items on her client's design wish list, but the unique shape of the property posed some design challenges. She literally had to think outside the box to come up with innovative design solutions, and we'll see the results here on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Today we tour an amazing beachfront penthouse designed by award-winning architect Sandra Diaz Velasco of Iolo Design. This particular property is quite unique. None of the rooms are traditional box-shaped spaces, which poses some design challenges. Sandra rose to the occasion pulling out all the stops, creating luxurious yet functional spaces and maximizing every square foot of this condo. Let's go check it out. This 2,400 square foot beach condo has three bedrooms and 3.5 baths. The oddly shaped floor plan of this property created many design challenges. Sandra was able to utilize every square inch to create unique, luxurious spaces. Sandra, it's a pleasure to see you. Hi. <laughs> this is quite a space. Stunning <laughs> as it is, I need to know, how did you tackle this floor plan and really divide the space to make it functional? Well, it really was a challenge because the plan layout is neither all straight or all curved. It's a mix of both and that renders odd shapes. So that was the first thing to solve with geometry. It, uh, we have to do like a game, that's how I call it, like a game of geometry and shapes. For example, here we see it between a square and a circle, which in essence is this, is the whole space. Being this a penthouse project, you will assume that we're gonna have very generous ceiling heights. It, that was not the case here. We had to play with that challenge. Did you create all of the different ceiling detail in here? Yes. They define a well-designed space. And then you're able to dictate where the lights go, yes. which brings us to the fantastic lights over that dining room table. <laughs> Tell us about that. They're I love stunning. you, Michael. <laughs> I love them. You know, they like water bubbles. They create a balance between that column that was too heavy and this side here. So it gives you some sort of a symmetry. It juxtaposes both yes, so nicely and exactly. really creates a beautiful entry because these are the first things you see yes, when you walk in exactly. this space. <laughs> and now in this area, there is a bar in here and you've really changed up this space. Tell us a little bit more about how you did that because it looks like design <laughs> magic to me. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it was, it was very difficult because there was not such a big space for the living room and dining room. So what we did was to push back walls. This is the result. We got a better space. It's a wonderful spacious room. There's a beautiful screen that I'm looking at right here. Does this move? I see the TV, looks like it's behind it. This is a formal living room that had to meet the function of a family room. It's gotta be both. And I love technology. I love my technology. <laughs> so we are. But we don't always I'm love to see it, right? I know, exactly. Why do you want to see it? So we had the TV there and I was looking for a solution and a way to make it look pretty and that created that sense of layering and transparency to it and you know we were playing with the geometric shapes again so we custom designed that screen to serve that purpose it's perfect this the space is so rich with so many layers and textures <laughs> and that's just one other great focal point coming up on sofa home project the challenges of working with odd shaped rooms is turned into opportunities to create one-of-a-kind spaces Elena, do you know why this family decided to change out the door? I can't imagine why. I have no idea. There's several reasons, and we're going to talk about a lot of them on today's Sofla Home Project. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. We're experiencing true luxury living as we tour an amazing penthouse designed by Sandra Diaz Velasco of Iolo Design. Next to the great room, we find a uniquely shaped home office space. The custom design takes advantage of every square inch of this room, making it feel spacious and luxurious. 
From what I understand, this was never quite an actual room on the original floor plan, right? Exactly. What we decided to do was to take a little bit of square footage from the master bedroom and use it on the other side as a little office. The shape is very odd. But you played perfectly to that because the way this feels, it feels quite private, even though it's <laughs> open to the views, open I to know. the room. And then you have this cute little nook where you could sit down and enjoy the view as well, in addition to the desk. Yes, yes. Well, that helped me define the entrance to the space. The space has to function. Yet all forms, which, you know, they're pretty, but they need to serve a purpose and have function. Absolutely. So form follows function and vice versa. <laughs> you take advantage truly of every square foot of this oh, space yeah. with storage and great division. Yeah. And this is such a great, unique, little carved out niche. And there are some more that we're going to see in just yes. a bit. But first, let's see what Tat Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates has for us. I had the opportunity to meet up with Tat at his latest project. So Tat, how does someone know when it's time to replace their front door? Well, great question. In this family, there were a lot of reasons why they wanted to change out their front door. Uh, they had all of the different decisions to make. Cosmetically was one. This was the original door that was put in the house. They also had a wooden door with over time, with our heat that we have, causes expansion and contraction in the woods. So they were having problems so with the door. So it's thick when it opens. Yes, yeah, so it was yeah. difficult for them to use their front door. Um, they also recognized that this is the western side of the home, so they got a lot of heat to this side. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to do something to not only update it, provide them energy efficiency, uh, have it easier for them to open and close, and they also wanted to provide significantly better protection from the hurricane. So the first thing I noticed is that everything is closed off. Is this something you do in every job for protection of dust and everything it, else? It really is, and it's funny that it's one of the first thing you notice, because when I have the opportunity to stop at installations, it's one of the first thing the homeowners notice, because they really start to see the fact that we really care about making sure that everything goes as smoothly as possible, and we do our best to keep the dust and dirt and debris contained so that they can still be at home, they can still be working, or their family can still be here while we're doing the installation, and they're not you know, worrying about flying dirt and debris. So it's something, it's a little thing, it takes a little bit of time, but it makes a big difference. So we've got the old doors out, the opening is here. Tell us a little bit about the installation process. Yeah, and it's probably one of the most concerning parts of the project for most families and, and certainly for us the as unknown. well. Right, it really <laughs> is. And for us too, when we remove the door, we don't know what we're gonna have behind it. So we're gonna examine the opening and our crews that come out will identify any problems or anything that needs done and address all concerns because we could order the best door in the world and it could be the best protected, but if it's not installed correctly, Right, it's not going to yes. work. So it's, it's, it's the most, it's difficult to explain when you're in the home, but when they see it happen and they see the crew's attention to detail and how much they care about making sure the family's going to be safe when we're done, it, they really appreciate that and it's such an important part of the process. Tad, thank you so much for joining us today and giving our viewers such great tips on choosing the right door. And we really appreciate you coming to the installation and seeing the entire process. I know the family's going to love their decisions and everything's going to turn out really great. Absolutely. So now we're here in the kitchen touring another gorgeous space designed by Sandra Diaz Velasco. The kitchen and breakfast nook come together to create another unique space. This room is full of personality. Its many design details make it for a fun place for family meals. This is a unit, it's a mix between straight lines and curves and all that, so it's intersections sometimes are kind of difficult to approach and transitions from space to space. You know, they pose a challenge. This was one of the case. So what I decided to do is like, okay, make that challenge again an opportunity. So we design a very nice sculptural table leg in marble. That's it's, a, it's a phenomenal focal point. And what's also interesting is given the spatial confines and like the angles of the wall, you fit a ton of appliances and made this so functional Yay. in such a uniquely shaped space. Yes, I don't so know. Maybe. Kudos to you because yes. you found storage, you found room for the appliances and for beauty. <laughs> yes, survival mode, I think. <laughs> it's a great play on a lot of different textures in this space. Yeah. And what I love about that is you really did manage to carry from the kitchen to the breakfast nook, space. which we're going to go yes. check out now. Yes. All of the rooms flow together with the paneling, with all of what you built in here, and it really gives a nice cohesive feel. Yes, that's the idea. Like It's difficult when you have a very open layout to divide and make transitions and give character to every space. So a way to do that 
is through shapes and textures and creating that balance. Because I have a lot of cold materials like the wood and the marble, and all, so I needed to balance that out. And this kind of, I think it gave us a cozy feeling. Looks like a great little place to enjoy the view and a meal. Coming up next, this beachfront penthouse tour continues in the master bedroom, which will not disappoint. Do you ever wonder what's under your home? Well, I'm Hunter Frankie, host of SoFlow Health, in for SoFlow Home Project, and today we're with N Square in the crawl space to fix some bouncy floors. Follow me. Yes, it's what it looks like. We are under a house. This is Scott of N Square. Uh, there was a problem with this house. What was the problem? The floors had become bouncy over time. Okay. That when the the homeowner would walk, they would have this little bouncy effect. Right. The dishes would rattle. They would hear noises mm -hmm. and they wanted to figure out how could they stop that from occurring. Right. So through their efforts, they found us. One of our consultants came out and gave a free inspection. Wow. And was able to come down here, identify the issues, right. presented to them at that same appointment, mm -hmm. the, the repair, which is our patented smart jack system. So this isn't a completed job yet? Correct. So what happens next? Well, our, our guys are gonna come in, put two more smart jacks here that you guys are gonna see today mm -hmm. underneath this beam that we've added, the supplemental beam, right. to stabilize this area of the floor right. that's sagging. So you'll see the whole process occur right here with this beam. So the same process that happened behind us will happen right here today? Correct. All right, let's let them get to work. Yes, sir, I'm into it. <laughs> we excavate a two foot cube. Okay. We, we put in crushed stone, we put in some concrete, we mix it up to, to, to develop a base mm -hmm. that we then put our, 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 our smart jack base on. Right. The tube with the threaded rod, as you will see in that, our finished product. Right. And then we are able to stabilize the floor so the customer no longer has a balancing floor. Right. Here we go. Oh man, it's getting tight. And they're like, you haven't seen nothing yet, buddy. <laughs> all right, that was fun and all, but I'll leave it to the professionals. Scott, what is so important about the soil? We mentioned it down there, but what's really happening with the soil? Well, the soil's impacting the crawl space in a couple of ways. Mm -hmm. It's soft, it's settling, it's continuing to going down and having the load pushed down upon it. Right. But the soil also is releasing moisture into that wood. Right. And then that wood sucks in that moisture over all of these years, and right. then it starts to sag. So that's another reason that we can put in the supplemental brace to end up lifting it up, right. tightening it up, that stabilizes it, and again, with the warranty, they know that we've taken care of everything. Scott, there's also the question, why N-Square? Why are you different from somebody trying to fix this themselves or other companies? Well, we see all the time people will go and do their makeshift repairs of taking <laughs> a, a, a two by four and sticking and, and leaning it up and taking actually bottle jacks and putting there and try to lean, lean it up. And Ooh. they don't address the soils, mm -hmm. which first of all, that's the cube. Right. So it's gonna to continue to settle. Mm -hmm. And then with our 25 year warranty that we give to the homeowners, wow. that is transferable. If anything were to occur because of a large rain event or something that right. softened the soils, with using the threaded rod and the wrench, we can actually come in and do an adjustment and keep it there. Scott, I'm sold. How do we get a hold of you? Well, you can, two ways. Go to our website, nsquareinc.com, mm -hmm. or give us a call at 866-562 1759 and schedule your free inspection. Well, if you need a free inspection, you can schedule that with Scott at N Square. What do you say we get out of these? I'm into it. Let's go. Let's do it. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. We've toured some pretty incredible spaces so far, but be prepared to be wowed because some of the best is yet to come. We're here again with Sandra Diaz Velasco of Yolo Design. And Sandra, this bedroom, from the looks of it, is just as incredible as everything else. The master suite takes up an entire wing in this penthouse. It's the true definition of modern luxurious design. Sandra, this headboard is absolutely incredible. Well, this was a question of scale. I don't have high ceilings, and that's why I played a with a height. lower, yeah, exactly, like a little lower headboard and then a lot of play of paneling. And I love the way the millwork just kind of juxtaposes this beautiful, you know, wall to wall, almost upholstered paneling. It's mm -hmm. great. And now I noticed you did a lot of layering with rugs. Was the shape of the room the reason you kind of, exactly. 
It comes again with the layout and the shape of the unit. All these connections and intersection between straight lines and curves, the result is this connection that you need to solve somehow. So I didn't want to have a wall-to-wall -wall, uh, carpet because I wanted to highlight the marble floors, but I came again to play uh, with geometry, sort of uh, defined spaces or subspaces, kind of it gives their own identity to those little niches. Now, this room has stunning views, beautiful furniture, um, but no TV. I'm not a fan of TVs in the room, but it's hidden, it's concealed in the ceiling. As we were saying, you know, we love technology and we love innovation, but we don't always want to see it. So right. this, here's another sample of it. This sample. way the view is not obstructed and not they can enjoy all. the view. You don't need yes. another piece of furniture underneath That it. was a prerogative. Like the view was the main thing. And now I notice there's another one of those beautiful gates. Does this move the panel? Yes, that's Next on Sofa Home Project, we left the best for last. We're sure you've never seen a face quite like this one. Hi, I'm Spiro from Good Greek Moving and Storage. And here are a few tips for when it's time for you to do your move. Plan ahead. Make sure you call moving companies 30 to 60 days in advance. Make sure that the mover comes to your home. It gives you a guaranteed price in writing. Also, always ask for proof of insurance and proof of licensing. Whether you're moving your home or business, call Star Star Greek for good Greek moving and storage, your superhero movers. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project, and we continue the tour of this gorgeous master suite designed by Sandra Diaz Velasco of Iolo Design. An open concept bathroom and closet area complete the master suite. It's the perfect blend of luxurious style and modern function. This space, it was in fact two spaces in one. The entrance was located in this area, and you will enter to the closet and bathroom area through here, and a wall will divide through the middle, both spaces. So we will, you will end, exactly, it will be like a very, very, very long bathroom. And then you will enter through here to a dark, dark closet. Labyrinthic, I will call it, because I, I remember and it was <laughs> a natural light coming through and why have it so dark? I wanted this space to be floated with natural light. You have this gorgeous curved mirror light fixture and then the vanity below. Yes. How did you come up with this concept? Because it's <laughs> well wonderful. It was it was a well, if we had challenges in the other spaces, this was the master of the challenges. When we united both areas, we end up with a really long space and we will be entering from a sideways. I always want the fissure to welcome you as you enter to a space. Absolutely. And this was not the case. It was very difficult. What did you do? Well, we had to design it. So we it's had custom. to design it. Yes, we had to do it. It's an, an incredible piece because when you see it, at first it's sculptural and also it serves as great light and it's all, is this all LED lighting that's throughout? Yes, it had to serve form. It, it had to serve a purpose. Sandra, you did such an incredible job of bringing the outdoors into this beautiful condo. So I think it's now time to check out the outside. Let's go. All right. Sandra, we are on the final stop of this beautiful tour. Tell us a little bit about your inspiration behind this space. Well, this was a little bit of a challenge because the owners bought the unit with this on and it was always for me a challenge to have it because it kind of broke the space in half. So I needed this to integrate better than be an obstruction. So what we decided to do was kind of camouflage it with this and that's how You did this perfectly. I feel like boxwood is such a popular, you know, outdoor treatment. Yes. And so I've never seen it used like this, and this is genius. It's just a beautiful way to camouflage what is a hot tub. Yeah, so you have to, you know, think outside of the box and see how, how things can be in your favor. And what I noticed what's really so great about this outdoor area is that when you're inside the unit, 
both little seating areas you created just adds like such a nice visual aspect when you look out at the view. I know. I am proud of my team and thankful to my clients uh, that gave us this opportunity to do what we have so much passion for. You did a fantastic job. Thanks. The place is absolutely stunning and I hope you enjoyed being here. We enjoyed having you touring this amazing Oh condo. my God, thank you so much. I'm so happy you came and so happy that you gave us this opportunity to show what we love to do. Your work is truly incredible. Thank you. And to the viewers, thank you for watching. And we'll see you here next week on another episode of SoFlo Home Project. If you missed any part of this makeover, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. You could also submit your design disasters, and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, we have a different kind of designer tour. We visit an amazing property completely styled by a homeowner with a flair for design.